first problem a bulb is rated 5 volts and 500 milliamperes calculate its power and resistance let us write down first what is given potential difference given 5 volts current is given 500 milliamperes so now we have to convert this milliamperes into amperes as 1 ampere is equals to 1000 milliamperes after converting we get 0 0.5 amperes now first let us find out power the formula we use here is p is equals to vi we know the values of v and i by multiplying we get the answer 2.5 watts next let us find out resistance as per ohm's law r is equals to v by i by substituting the values we get the answer as 10 ohms now move to the second problem how much work is done in moving a charge of 2.5 coulombs across two points having a potential difference of 16 volts here charge is given q 2.5 coulombs and the potential difference is also given 16 volts now we have to find out the work done w so the formula is w is equals to qv we know the values of q and v by multiplying these two we get the answer 40 joules next move to the third problem so here we have the third one find the equivalence resistance of three resistors 1 ohm 2 ohm and 3 ohms in series and parallel combinations so the values of the res three resistors given r1 is equals to 1 ohm r2 is equals to 2 ohms r3 is equals to 3 ohms when these three are connected in series the equivalence resistance r is equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3 adding or adding all these three values we get 6 ohms when it is connected in when, it, when these three are connected in parallel connection the formula will be like this 1 by r is equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 we know the values of r1 r2 and r3 by substituting these three values and simplifying we get the value 1 by r is equals to 11 by 6 ohms then r is equals to reciprocal of this that is 6 by 11 ohms next fourth problem if the resistance of a wire of length 1.2 meters and diameter of 0 0.4 millimeters is found to be 2.5 ohms what is the specific resistance of the material of wire see the formula that we need to apply here is rho is equals to r a by l let us let us try to write down what are given in the problem resistance given as 2.5 ohms length of the wire is given as 1.2 meters and the diameter of the wire is given as 0 0.4 millimeters so in this formula we need to find out the specific resistance that is rho r is given here l is also given here but a cross sectional area is not given how to find out this here we know the diameter this diameter by using this we can easily find out its radius so radius is half of the diameter because the cross section of a wire is in circular shape so its radius is half of the diameter then we get 0 0.2 millimeters so here the resistance and length are in SI system then we have to convert this radius also into SI system that is into meters then we get the value as 0, 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meters now we need to find out cross sectional area a so cross sectional area of a square is pi r square that is perimeter of a square 
pi r square. We know the value of pi 22 by 7 and the r value we have calculated here 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4 whole square. By simplifying this we get this value. Now we know all these three values in this equation. So by substituting all these the rho is equals to r a by l. We know all these three values by substituting and simplifying we get the value of specific resistance of the material is 26.2 into 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meters. Ohm meters are the units of specific resistance. Then move to the fifth problem. The resistance of a bulb is 200 ohms and it draws a current of 1 ampere. Calculate its power and potential difference at its ends. So what is given in the problem? Let us first write down. Resistance is given as 200 ohms. Current is given as 1 ampere. We need to find out the potential difference. So the relation between these three terms is P is equals to I square R. We know the values of I and R by substituting and calculating. We get the answer as 200 watts. The unit of power is watts, so 200 watts. And the potential difference also we need to find out here. Potential difference V, v is equals to IR as per Ohm's law. We know the value of I and R. By substituting we get 200 volts. Next, move to the another problem. A bulb is marked 60 watts and 120 volts then what is the resistance so what is given in the problem write down power is given as 60 watts potential difference is given as 120 volts we need to find out the resistance r now the formula that we need to find uh, apply here is p is equals to v square by r we know p the value of p and v we, we know these two values. We need to find out R here. Substituting the values. So R is equals to V square by P. It will become. So 120 into 120 by 60. Simplifying. We get 240 ohms. Next. Move to the another problem. So here we have the seventh problem. A uniform wire of resistance 100 ohms is melted and recast into wire of length double that of the original. What would be the resistance of new wire formed? Here we need to compare the old wire and the new wire. So the old wire, what are the values of old wire, the old wire given? So the resistance given as 100 ohms for old wire and uh, let us try to know the length of the wire is L and the cross sectional area is A. Now, now as per the formula R is equals to rho L by A. This is for old wire. But what we have done here, this wire has been recasted and uh, the length is made double. So the new wire, the length of the new wire will be double to this. That means 2L. Cross sectional area when the length is when length has doubled, the cross sectional area will become half. Then as it is A, here the cross sectional area become A by 2. Now the new resistance or dash is equals to rho into instead of L we write 2L because length has doubled. Instead of A we write A by 2 because cross sectional area has become half. By simplifying this, we get 4 into rho L by A. That means rho L by A is the value of R. That is 4 R. That is the value of new resistance is 4 times to the old resistance. That means the old resistance is 100 ohms. The new resistance will be 400 ohms. The next problem. A house has three tube lights, two fans. Each tube light draws 40 watts. The fan draws 80 watts. 
on the average all tube lights are kept on for 5 hours fans for 12 hours find the cost of electric energy used in 30 days at the rate of 3 rupees per kilowatt hour so this is the problem given here so first let us try to find out the energy consumed by the tube lights of 40 watt each so each tube light has the power of 40 watt and each tube light has been used for 5 hours in a day now here the formula to find the energy is E1 let us suppose it is the product of number of devices that is N into its power into the time it is used here how many number of devices we have used 3 that's why 3 multiplied by its power it is 40 watts into multiplied by the time we have used it for 5 hours into 5 so by multiplying all these we get 600 watt hours now let us move to the fans so here we have two fans each fan has 80 watts of power and each fan is used for 12 hours by applying this formula we get as there are two fans then 2 into the power is 80 then it is multiplied by 12 so the product is 1920 watt hours so the total energy consumed by tube lights and the fans e1 plus e2 so by adding these two we get 2520 watt hours this is for one day so we we have to find out for 30 days in the problem so the total energy consumed in 30 day, 30 days is this should be multiplied by 30 that is we get 75600 watt hours so this is in watt hours now we need to convert this into kilowatt hours we know that 1 kilowatt hour is equals to 1000 watt hours then by converting this we have to multiply with 1000 then we get 75.6 kilowatt hours we know the in the problem the rate per 1 kilowatt hour is given as 3 rupees so the total cost will be 75.6 multiplied by 3 then we get 226.8 rupees hope you guys can understand these all these problems thanks for watching